first child through surrogacy. Surrogacy was not working. Oh, did you see the This is the Sipilada Sunland Refined Sunflower Oil. Periyar Maniam Institute of Science and Technology, Tanjabu, CSE with specialization in AI and ML and data science and cyber security. Why don't we just adopt and it just, we said, okay, let's look into it. And that's just where it started. One week later, the surrogate was pregnant and Nisha also was coming home. Same day of our IVF transfer of the boys. Oh, the same day. Oh, it was, it was actually during Splits Villa. That's called God's plan. Yeah, that's a not my plan. God's plan. <laughs> They're not oops babies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're not like, oh uh oh, what happened? <laughs> I'm pregnant. So it wasn't like that. Papa, I need you to sit with me and have breakfast. I'm like, no, I just five more minutes. No, I need you. I, I don't want to sit alone. I love my children so much. I love spending so, as much time as I can with them and being there for their important events. Um, sometimes. I might miss it, but I'm there online <laughs> watching, but what matters is your family. What matters is that your family's healthy and happy. A bit different because I lost my parents. This drama that happens, nothing in life is going to be bad feeling up yeah. until this point in my life. All this nonsense that happens, it's like a joke. carry your professional life and your personal life, especially after your kids. It's yeah. so beautiful. So how much do you enjoy your motherhood, uh, son? I enjoy it so much. That is why I'm hoping like all my interviews end early today so I can make it home to see the kids uh, before they go to bed today um, or at least make it home for dinner time. So I love my children so much. I love spending so, as much time as I can with them. and. And they know that and we spend a lot of family time together, which is important. How do you balance all these things? We have things, a lot right? of communication between ourselves and our children. Oh, right. My husband is extremely hands-on. Um, so we're always there for our children. We always have discussions about um, that I have to go to work. Why do I have to go to work? There's a trade-off. Either I can be the mommy that goes to the office. And literally, though, if you go to an office, you're there. and from the morning time until evening, and sometimes late evening. Yeah. So where's the balance? So we talk about that balance, and we talk about when I'm home, I'm home. There is no other work happening. Yeah. Or if we go on a holiday, I make sure that any sort of work that happens, we've discussed it beforehand, oh. or um, we've discussed within ourselves saying that I will only take work after they go to bed. That's you know, nice. or, you know, so we really do try and balance out. Like, there's always one of us picking the kids up at school, dropping them off, like, in the morning. We're there for their activities. We make sure, between Daniel and I, that we're there. Um, so today I'm not there. So Daniel picked up the children from wow, school. Wow, that's nice. Uh, otherwise, we are both standing there waiting for our children to come out, and we pick them up. And I think there are certain things in life that uh, children don't forget. So there's certain things, and it's I'm not talking about monetary things. I'm talking about time. Time. Or did your mommy and daddy pick you up from school? Or was it just nanny? Because we live in a nanny culture in exactly. India, and there's always somebody there to help. So we're there as much as possible, and you know, picking up, dropping off school is extremely important on our list. Um, being there for their important events. Um, sometimes I might miss it, but I'm there. Um, mm -hmm you know, online <laughs> watching. But like today I dressed my kid up. They had to go as robots. I'll show you a picture. If I can find my phone, I can tell you, show you what I made Please them. Please do show that, no? Please. Do we have a phone? Can you ask for my phone? Uh -huh. You will laugh. It was, I made them both into these foiled paper oh. um, <laughs> robots this morning. It was so cute. But we worked on it all day yesterday. But they know so that So you I and Danny worked on the costumes? No, just myself. Yourself, and, right. and the oh. boys. <laughs> oh my god. These are my kids today. It was so cute. And you know, there's a time in life where you use these pictures as ammunition. Yeah. This is my, these are my ammunition Whoa, <laughs> that's so cute. It is so funny. <laughs> How long it took for you to get this done? Actually? We spent like two, three hours. Right. Each of them, I glued everything down, measured their body, put them up. Look at this. <laughs> 
they do they it's adorable i think people you know not just everybody but people need to learn this is what you know because the reason why i asked this question to you is because i think nowadays not with everybody but just to common people also this is a big time problem you know they have a lot of ego problems and how to balance the personal life and they coming to any part of the work so that's the reason it's nice see you take your time to yeah. make sure that you spend some of your time for the kids and all this yeah, yeah it's much it's nice. time is possible it's that's something that's again there's But so this was Sunny's conscious decision like you know when you want to become a mom you know I I let me make sure that you know I got to spend some time with my kids yeah it was your conscious of, uh, of course I I want both my husband and I really wanted to have children it wasn't nice. like a they're not oops babies <laughs> yeah <laughs> they're not like oh oh what happened <laughs> i'm pregnant so it wasn't like that they were all planned they were all we didn't know we were having 3 yeah. but we knew that we wanted children and um it's important because i think that they're so young this is the age where where all these things are shaped and their exactly. future is basically set within these like you know let's say until the age of 10 or 12 where they really do appreciate start to appreciate later that we spent so much time with them and you know there are times where we can say you know the kids if they're you know every every child is different if they're like in a mood or something we'll go out, i can send you with a nanny but i want to take you to school you know so you need to be nice to me <laughs> <laughs> but just like just like you or i we have a we're yeah. in a bad mood or something and they you know will say something do you have to teach them you know what to do what to say you know how to be courteous and how our time together is very very special and my kids definitely know that every single morning like on the weekends my little boy because we sit at dinner time every day together wow, that's um nice. the whole family sits together and even during you know breakfast one of us is always sitting with the children having their breakfast their lunch or dinner oh every day this is like This is either your Danny or yeah, anybody goes to be there. Unless oh. like we're both working. Working. Um but other than that we're we always sit with our children when it comes to meal times. And every Saturday morning when Daniel and I want to just sleep for just 30 more minutes with one of them as my son Noah will come in every morning go Papa, I need you to sit with me and have breakfast. And we're like, no, I just 5 more minutes. No, I need you. I I don't want to sit alone. <laughs> so Again, those are those things like if you grew up in a family where your Very family true. ate together, they were together. I grew up in a family and so did Daniel where we had family dinners. We sat together. There were no phones. There's no mobiles. There's no iPad sitting at my table at all. It's like big rule in our house. So, it's, you know, something that we think that makes a big difference in their life. No, I mean, not now, but not, not. later definitely, on. Definitely, definitely. Because nowadays, you know, the kids are on the first floor. Mom is down just calling up through the WhatsApp or yeah, you know, know through Instagram. Oh my god, please do come down. Oh no, I don't know those parents. I don't <laughs> want to know. <laughs> All right. So, let me talk about uh, Nisha. You came to know about her family. So, what was running in your mind and um, how clear you were about those uh, vision well, actually we didn't choose nisha nisha chose us wow that's a beautiful that's first of all um we were wanted to have our first child through surrogacy surrogacy was not working working okay. so then in between that i said to dan why can't we just adopt a little girl because all of our girls are gone in america you know what the gender of the baby yeah. that you had so we yeah. had four girls and two boys mm -hmm. perfect embryos yeah. and so when those four girls did not work out in between that entire process it takes a very very long time any woman out there who's been through IVF or harvesting your eggs or any of these things that you know that it's a it's a long long process. process so in between there we said why don't we just adopt and it just we said okay let's look into it and that's just where it started oh, so that's yeah. how it happened that's how it happened and then we were matched with the little girl on the same day of our IVF transfer of the boys oh the and same day a, oh it was it was actually during splits villa it oh. was during one of our dumping uh dumping sessions okay and i'm standing there on the podium it was with run vijay at that time we're standing there we're talking about everything that's happening my husband was landing in the US and um in the middle of the dumping i see this body <laughs> my assistant coming around and saying you have to take this phone call right now i was like okay this doesn't really happen very often mm -hmm. so it must be an emergency yeah and he's on the phone with me and he said 
that uh, we finally got our letter saying we were matched with a little girl. Okay. But it's the same. He only went to the U.S. to do the IVF transfer mm -hmm. of the boys. Okay. So on the same day, we found out we were having we were matched with a little girl on the same day of our IVF transfer, and one week later, uh, the surrogate was pregnant, and Nisha also was coming home. So we found out about the three of them uh, all at once. I think that's a that's biggest. That's called God's plan. Yeah, that's a <laughs> not biggest. my plan. God's plan. Yes. Why don't we take a walk in? Yes. When we talk about the mom and the kids' life, what are the three values you? you have taught your kids like you know you got to follow these three values i'm sure like as a mom there are too many things you must have taught them but still very important three values um not to steal not to lie not mm -hmm. to cheat to treat people with respect there's okay. a long list it's not just three yeah <laughs> that's uh, the reason i to asked be for kind three. extremely intelligent person she's that child that we all when we were in school mm -hmm that we all were like, I wish I was like her. She has a photographic memory. Well, so she's like a straight A student, which is amazing. But what I tell her all the time is that your grades mm -hmm. and how you do in school, for me, is secondary. You being a good human being is all I want you to be in life. And the rest of it, it can be fixed because you can't change these things about people. Yeah. If they're nice to people, courteous to people, say thank yous. Um, so that's definitely something on my list. Mm -hmm. That's one of the things I think is most important, is raising a good human being and being nice and kind to people. Wow. The other side of the world, you know, you take long past, they used to say like, okay, there was too much of questions. Such a beautiful woman, how was she doing all these things? How was she able to balance everything? And whatever she's been doing it, I think the fullest you've been giving it. How is that possible, Sunny? And I'm sure, first of all, the reason why I put this question to you is, Every day there are too much of things happening and quickly people take a decision. You know, this is not going to happen, that's it. You know, the, the negative mind goes off, you know, but you, it, it's like this, the process was very slow, but you've taken it so, you've handled it so beautifully. So how was it? How is it? I don't know. <laughs> There's no other choice, no other option. Um, I, my perspective of life is a little bit different because I lost my parents. So for me, this, this drama that happens, around me or this negativity is nothing compared to that feeling. So when you lose your parents, it's probably the lowest you're ever going to feel in life, especially if you're young and I was, you know, pretty young when I lost them. Um, so that nothing in life is going to be permanent <laughs> as bad feeling up yeah. until this point in my life, knock on wood, um, as as that feeling. So all this nonsense that happens, it's like a joke. <laughs> You know, and you can't really take it so seriously because in the grand scheme of life and who you are, what matters is your family, what matters is that your family's healthy and happy and the rest of it, it's, it's just nonsense. So, you know, the name of the game is to just keep working, keep moving forward and as long as you're working and you're happy doing it, then that's all that matters. I'm going to save your life. Look at that. That thing's going to bite you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's my good deed for the day. That's it. That Daniel and I were getting a divorce and I was divorce. also pregnant. It's just nonsense. So I wonder if she was more concerned about the divorce or having a child. My brother's always supported me. Daniel's mother is also very kind and loving and supportive. So Situationship also means that you're dating. Yeah, I'm on the market. I'm dating people. To the idea of watching somebody's love story, how they meet, um, the things that go on, especially with reality shows, erupted. Institute of Science and Technology, Tanjavur, CSE with specialization in AI and ML and data science and cyber security.